In this problem, we will do several binomial probability calculations. Our random variable x is the number of hearts selected from a standard deck of cards when drawing 20 cards from the deck with replacement. Our random variable x has a binomial distribution. Why does it have a binomial distribution? Because we have a fixed number of trials, 20. We are calculating the number of successes, the number of times we get a heart. On each trial, each draw, there are two outcomes. We either get a, get a heart or we do not. And the probability of success, the probability of drawing a heart, stays the same from trial to trial because each time we draw a card, we put it back into the deck and shuffle it. So our random variable has a binomial 20, 20 trials. And the probability of success, the probability of drawing a heart, is 13 over 52, which is the same as 1 fourth. So we want to calculate the probability that we will draw four hearts when we are selecting 20 cards from the deck. And we know that x has a binomial distribution. Recall the probability distribution function for a binomial random variable. The probability that x equals k is n choose k. Probability of success raised to the kth power, we have k successes, times 1 minus p to the n minus k power. We have n minus k failures. And this is non-zero for values of k equal to 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 up to n. So we have that the probability that x equals 4, we have 20 choose 4 times 0 0.25 raised to the fourth power. We have four successes and we have 16 failures. Recall that 20 choose 4 is equal to 20 factorial divided by 4 factorial divided by 16 factorial. And we find that 20 choose 4 is equal to 4,845. And our probability that x equals 4, that we get 4 hearts when we select 20 cards, is almost 19%. There is an easy way to do this probability calculation on your calculator. If we want to do the probability that x equals k, there is a function on the TI calculator called binome p, d, f, and if you give it parameters n, p, k, it will return the probability that x equals k. So if we want the probability that x equals 4, we can do binome p, d, f, n is 20, p is 1 fourth, and k is equal to 4. So let's do that. On the TI calculator, go to second vars, go down to binome PDF number 10. We give it parameters 20, comma, 0 0.25, comma, 4, close the parentheses, hit enter, and again we see that the probability that x equals 4 for a binomial 20, 0 0.25 random variable is equal to almost 19. Now let's calculate that the probability that x is less than 4. If x is less than 4, then x either equals 0, 1, 2, or 3. So the probability that x is less than 4 is the same as the probability that x equals 0, plus the probability that x equals 1, plus the probability that x equals 2, plus the probability that x equals 3. Why can we just add these probabilities? We can add the probabilities because they are disjoint events. Expanding each of these probabilities, we see that the probability that x equals 0 is 20 choose 0 times 0.25 raised to the 0 power times 0.75 raised to the 20th power. And the probability that x equals 3 is 20 choose 3 times the probability of success raised to the third power times the probability of failure raised to the 17th power. 
20 choose 0 is equal to 1, 20 choose 1 is equal to 20, 20 choose 2 is equal to 190, and 20 choose 3 is equal to 1140. Multiplying and adding this all out, we find that the, that the probability that x is less than 4 is equal to a little bit more than 22 percent. These calculations can get long and tedious given all of the combinatorics uh, and all of these products and then adding them all together. The TATI calculator can also calculate probabilities for binomial random variables that are less than a particular value. So let's talk about that. There is a function on the calculator called binome CDF. It stands for binomial cumulative distribution function. And if you give it parameters n, p, k, it will return the probability that x, where x is a binomial n, p distribution, the probability that that random variable is less than or equal to k. You must be careful with this less than or equal to. When you put in k, it includes the probability that x equals k. So for our problem, we wanted the probability that x is less than 4. We said that that was the same as the probability that x equals 0 plus x equals 1 plus the probability that x equals 2 plus the probability that x equals 3. We can do binomial CDF 20, 0 0.25, comma 3. We do not want to include 4, but we do want to include 3. So our parameter for k in this particular function will be 3. So let's do that. Again, go to second vars, down to letter A, binome CDF, parameters n, comma, p, comma, k. We see that the probability that a binomial 20, 0 0.25 random variable is less than 4 or less than or equal to 3 is equal to a little bit more than 22 percent, just what we found when we calculated, calculated it by hand. Let's do one more binomial probability calculation. Let's calculate the probability that our random variable x is greater than 2. We could do the probability that x equals 3 plus the probability that x equals 4 plus dot 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 plus the probability that x equals 20. But that would require a lot of work. We can use the properties of probability and use the property that the probability of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of the complement of the event. What's the complement of x is greater than 2? The complement of that event is the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. We can write that as 1 minus the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability that x equals 1 plus the probability that x equals 2. Writing this all out and doing the calculation, we find that the probability that x is greater than 2 is almost 91 percent. So when we are drawing 20 cards with replacement from a standard deck of cards, the probability that we will get more than two hearts is close to 91 percent. Again, we can do this probability calculation on our calculator, so let's do that. So again, we want the probability that x is greater than 2. We can rewrite that as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So we can calculate this probability on the calculator using the binomial CDF, cumulative distribution function. So if we put in 1 minus binomial CDF, 20 comma 0 0.25 comma 2 on the calculator, we will get the probability that our random variable is greater than 2. So let's do that. 1 minus binome CDF is under second vars down to letter A, binome CDF, N is 20, P is 0 0.25, comma 2, 
and we find, again, that the probability that our random variable is greater than 2 when our random variable is binomially distributed with parameters 20, 0 0.25, is almost 91%. So you can use the probability distribution function for a binomial random variable or the calculator's binomial PDF and binomial CDF functions on the calculator to calculate any binomial probability calculation.